Right, let's see if we test this radio here. Um, 3900. We've never tried this one on the end. We've got it at 5 watts. Oh. I don't hear anything. Hello. Oh, man. Hello, one, two, three, four. The uh, the other radio, it doesn't seem to work good as a monitor. We go back in our menu here. Find the power setting. It'll be like HF power. What's the AM mic gain at? 50. Fifty meter or I guess fifty megahertz power. AM power. I think it went back. Uh it's fifty megahertz AM power. HF power AM power. Forty. Test one, two, three, four. Doesn't sound real good, does it, guys? Test one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, I'm not hearing it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Over here, they won't even pick it up. So, um,. That's interesting. We go back over to SSB, which they don't give you the option of picking the sideband. Hello, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That is strange. I'm on 3900, am I not? Oh. So, see how it shifted my frequency? Either I bumped the VFO or it did it. Oh, one, two, three, four. Hello, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's get this little switch on the back. Hello, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think it's a little bit sharper, but we're, we're not picking it up real well on that. I'll turn that one off. Hello, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the other position, number two, number two, number two. All right, I got to go number one, number one, number one. Now it's uh, time for number two, number two. Number one, number one, yeah, maybe a little lower. Hello, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Hello, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's a little bit mellower on that. Hello, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, certain radios are not good to monitor and see what you sound like, as we just saw. So, this one here, probably because it's so close to sitting on top of it, it's fine. The 756 Pro is very shielded, and it doesn't pick up a lot of signal if there's no coax hook to it, which is good. That's what you want. Uh, so for my next trick, I've got a buttload of microphones, um, and I'm still trying to find a good microphone for the FT901DM. So uh, we'll pause and come back, and... Um, in the meantime, actually, we will move over here from this radio to the 710. 
So, it's Friday. Let's play around with some radios, guys. Let's have some fun. There's no point in getting in this hobby just to be sitting here staring at your stuff. I really don't particularly care for the new style of HF or plugs. So these are called. I like the old HF sixes. Uh, I haven't seen an issue with these kind of plugs, other than they're just kind of hard to undo sometimes. Certain ones um, have broke on me. Um, right here. Well, I had one break. Um, Now, the HF6 plug doesn't use all six pins either, so uh, I don't know what it was originally intended for. Some type of Molex of some such. Alright. Man. I don't know what I have this one set to. Um... I'm just using the hand mic. It's pretty good. Uh, the other radio didn't sound that loud. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Interesting. Um... This radio sitting on top of it. I'm way the hell away from it. Um, why am I screeching into this thing? Hello, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I, I would say that this microphone maybe picks up a little bit more noise. So, now you guys have heard this without that mic EQ and without a processor on and it shouldn't sound real good at all hello one two three four one two three four one two three four, one, two, three, four. actually it sounds a lot like the 891 um, but people typically complain about this radio and say that it sounds muddy with the stock microphone like this. And I, I guess you can kind of hear it because it's, it, yeah, it's picking up. It's, it's really, really hard to hear, and especially if you have weak signal because it's so low in frequency. So anyway. And then that would be with the mic EQ on, uh, with the uh, the settings that I have, I've rolled off you know most of the highs and stuff. Also, these new microphones don't have a switch on the back. Uh, they don't um, you know I don't know what they why they switch to this one. There's a uh, a mute a mute button on the front. It's like feeding back like crazy. So the microphone picks up like noise in the background really badly. I think it's probably one of the worst microphones that Yesu has come out with. Let me um, see. I have this. Uh, uh, I don't have an adapter for it. Um, I haven't tested this microphone that somebody gave me. It's an MD100, but. Um, I think it, I think it works. I just think it's got like a bad switch. Now with these Yasus, what Yasu told me to never switch the microphone while the radio is on. I have no idea why that should be a problem, but 
have seen it be an issue. All right, one, two, three, four, MD 100, one, two, three, four. Now the settings on the MD 100 are completely through. And if we turn the filter on on it, it sounds like that. And if we turn the high emphasis on, it sounds like that. But what we need to do first is go in and turn our settings off. Okay, so that, that's kind of just baseline on the microphone, but we, we need to turn off the radio. Okay, so now what, that's what it would sound like if we just hooked this up to a brand new 710. It would be like that. And then when we turn on the, the filter, there's like... I've got everything else turned off, but I know there's a preamp in the microphone. And then back to with it off, supposedly. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four with a high emphasis. And then low cut on two, low cut on two. And low cut on one, low cut on one. Low cut on one, and high emphasis on. Oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think I would probably go with this for just regular talking, which is high emphasis and low cut on two. I mean, you can even do low cut on one, which I think is a little bit better, probably uh, less aggressive, less DXE. So, anyway, yeah, this one squeals a little bit, but it, it's not like picking up nearly the amount of crap that the other one was. So, um, we will conclude this one, and then in the next video, I'll be testing the 901 DM. We're going to keep these videos from being like 30 minutes. You know what I mean? So, catch you guys later.